folk medicine, using that in hand. Grape juice was suggested in the case material for many reasons. It has a type of sugar in it, apparently, that does not metabolize in such a way that it makes one obese. Thus, we suggest for those patients who want to lose weight, that they drink four ounces of a mixture, half and half, of grape juice and water prior to each meal. This satisfies the appetite to some extent and may be beneficial for the intestinal tract. However, when grape juice is carried a bit further in the processing, it becomes wine. One of our patients, who is now in her 60s, tells us a story about wine and like any that we've heard before. As a two-year-old, Lucy could not walk nor stand without assistance. We don't know exactly what her diagnosis was, but it was potentially permanently disabling and certainly had something to do with a congenital hip deformity. Her mother apparently heard from someone that hot red wine applied to the extremities was what the child needed. She applied hot compresses, hot wine poultices, to her daughter's legs, thighs and hips every day for a year. I checked her legs recently and they are as straight and solid as any I've seen. Her mother used what was at hand, and healing followed. Left square bracket note, the preceding report was provided by William McGarry, M. D. and is excerpted from the A.R.E. Journal. July, 1974, Volume 9, No. 4, page 174, copyright copyright 1974 by the Edgar Case Foundation, Virginia Beach, Virginia, right square bracket, 